Aquarius, go, go, go. We are a, we are a. Chicka, 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 Aquarius, we are a, we are a. <laughs> hey, Aquarius, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. My daughter stayed home from daycare, so if you hear anything in the background, then that's her crazy butt, okay? <laughs> um, so this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look to see what the freak is coming towards you in love. Please keep in mind, this is a general reading, guys. Take what you can for your own unique situation. Leave the rest for someone else. Um, please, please like this video. Show some love, some support, as you guys always do, but... Um, for those of you who are new here, just show some love to your fellow Aqua, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got coming towards Aquarius in love. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is coming to Aquarius in love? Aquarius. What is coming to Aquarius in love? Mm. Okay, so Aquarius, you may have some freak that's been doing a disappearing act with you. Okay, <laughs> you, some of you have been dealing with Houdini. One minute they're here, one minute they're not. Maybe they keep ghosting you. You have still hoping, but someone's still hoping. So maybe you're still hoping. This person's still hoping. Maybe you're ghosting this person. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have a change of heart. Happiness. All right, let's see what's going on here. What's going on here? Aquarius. As soon as I cut the deck, we have the Hermit and the Seven of Wands. You could be dealing with someone... You know, you're definitely in separation with right now, Aquarius. Um, possibly a Virgo, okay? If you feel kind of pushed away by this person, some of you, maybe you blocked this freak or they blocked you. Someone's very defensive, guarded. Could be uh, with a Gemini. All right. What is coming to Aquarius in love? Aquarius. What is coming to Aquarius in love? You have two of cups reversed. What is coming to Aquarius in love? Aquarius. Aquarius. What is coming to Aquarius in love? Aquarius. Hmm. Ace of Pentacles. So some of you I'm hearing that maybe there definitely was a connection here. Maybe you guys broke up or you guys just kind of mutually decided to kind of go your own ways. Okay. Because it's interesting you have the two of cups reversed and the three of cups. So maybe this was more of like an exclusive situation. Now it's like Maybe it went to like a friend situation. Maybe someone said, let's just be friends. Okay. What is coming to Aquarius in love? What is coming to Aquarius in love? Aquarius. I feel like whoever this person is, they're very flighty. What is coming to Aquarius in love? You could definitely be dealing with another air sign. Um, or a Taurus. What is coming to Aquarius in love? Yeah, you could be dealing with um, Nine of Swords. What's coming to Aquarius in love? Some of you, someone broke up with you or whatever the case may be. Um, or they just put you in a friend zone, unfortunately. That's basically what it looks like here, okay? Or you, maybe you put this freak in a friend zone. I feel like I keep hearing someone say they don't want to be friends. <laughs> I don't want to be friends. Some of you, this may be someone that um, is not even romantic. Maybe it's just like an old friend reaching out to you. What's coming to Aquarius in love, Aquarius? What is coming to Aquarius? Four of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you've been very consistent with this person, okay? You tried your best with whoever this freak is, but for some reason, um, it's just not, you know, stabilizing. This connection isn't stable. Um, strong Taurian energy here, guys. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? But I feel like this freak did you wrong already, Justice reverse. I feel like you're kind of giving up on whoever this person is. And something's telling me this person is definitely a Taurus or they can have Taurus in their moon rising or their Venus. This is somebody who's kind of flighty. Heart of the reading, Knight of Swords. This is someone that, you know, they're kind of coming in and out here. Um, I think this person is playing kind of games with you, Aquarius, if I'm being very honest with you. I think this person is going to contact you out of the blue. They will reach out to you. Okay. Uh, and they, they're going to come with some kind of message like this. This could be someone who's a little immature, okay? They will reach out to you with the Page of Cups with some kind of message here. But it's like, it's going to kind of be the same rodeo. What is the Two of Cups reverse for Aquarius? Two of Cups reverse for Aquarius. So I feel like the change of heart may be about someone who at first they were like, okay, you know, let's be in a relationship or let's, 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 
you know, I want a relationship, but then they change their mind. Because that acquaintance versus someone who's not really ready. Although there's potential here, someone's not ready. Then, I mean, it's stagnant. It's stagnant, okay? Some of you maybe just can't trust this freak, okay? <laughs> this could be your divine masculine if you believe in twin flame. We do have Aries here. This could be an Aries. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius. What is being offered here? So if you haven't heard from this person, reconciliation is happening. It is. It is. But unfortunately, I just don't kind of, I, I really don't see this get, being what you want still. The Four of Cups, you're rejecting this freak. Whatever they're offering you in this cup, <laughs> the Aquarius doesn't want. Now, what is the Nine of Cups? This is someone who's kind of like content with the way things are. So if you're hoping to be more than friends with someone, unfortunately, whoever this person is, they're content with the arrangement you guys already have, which is being friends. Okay, you need to listen to your intuition. This person may be withholding information or they're not really telling you the truth. And the truth is that this freak may just kind of be looking for more of like a casual situation or not to say this is a player, but they may not really be, you know, only dating you or trying to settle down or trying to be serious with anyone right now. Knight of Swords for Aquarius in love. So um, this person's going to come back out of the blue. They're going to reach out to you. They will. Eight of Wands. They may even come see you. They will reach out. But like I said, the problem is that this is someone who's a fool. This is someone who is just basically wanting to do whatever they want to do at this time. They don't really want to commit to anything. Tell me about this King of Pentacles, please, for Aquarius. This King of Pentacles, probably you've probably felt strung along uh, or led on. And they probably were kind of leading you on here. It's like the situation was stagnant. It wasn't changing. So you kind of released this person. Now... The page of cups is here. So this is a message, okay? They're going to try to be sweet. But I feel like whenever I see the page of cups with these flighty cards, this is someone who's kind of BSing you. Um, they're going to try to come in all sweet here. But as soon as they do that, they're going to switch again. They're going to keep going back and forth. It's like they're going to kind of get your hopes up. That's just what I see. I, I see that this is someone who is going to kind of sell you a dream. You have the ten of cups. They're going to romance you because the thing about these the Knight of Cups is someone who, you know, they, they talk a big talk. You know, they're very romantic, but at the same time, they're very flaky because they're not really grounded. OK, um, they, 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 they they're in love with love. So they fall into the romantics of it. But when it comes to the actual commitment, they flake. OK, so what is the Four of Cups? And I feel like you're kind of worried about this person. You're trying to figure out what the freak. But I think Aquarius. um, I think you need to listen to your intuition. As much as you may love this person and care about them, um, I think, you know, love is not enough, right? I think you should, I don't think this is someone you should wait around on at this time. I don't think that this is someone that you should invest a lot of time and energy into because I, basically there's nothing has changed with this freak. So they're going to reach out or they're going to reach out very soon, actually. It's going to come out of the blue, but I just feel like it's just still a whole lot of game playing oh my god my daughter's so loud a whole lot of game playing okay um and yeah so <laughs> you know i feel like you're being all consistent with this freak and they're not okay don't do this to my aquarius you freaking freak what else for aquarius in this love situation so you may still be hoping for more with this person but unfortunately i just feel like they're going to continue to show you that they don't care they're going to continue to show you that you know, it's all about them. They're going to continue to kind of abandon you, five of coins, because you guys are not on the same page. The fool reverse. It could be someone who's a fool, literally. You know, they're just hopping from relationship to relationship, person to person. The fool is like a very carefree energy. This is someone who's not trying to lose their freedom. Um, the higher font. Yeah, the higher font tells me it could be Taurus again, Taurus twice. So whoever this person is, they very much, they very well may be a Taurus or have it in their moon rising or their Venus. Okay. Some of you, maybe you'll put this freak in the friend zone. Okay. Maybe you're going to tell them, listen, you know, I've had enough of your crap. Let's just be friends. Some of you, maybe you found someone else. You found another connection. Okay. And they're going to just have to let it burn, guys. <laughs> Seven of Wands. Some of you are blocking this freak. Or you should be. You should be. Because they don't know what they want. What is the advice for Aquarius? The advice is the four of wands. Free yourself. Liberate yourself from this person. Even if this is a twin flame, don't ignore your intuition. High priestess reverse. 
Yeah. So make sure you're not seeing this person through rose colored glasses, okay? Somebody may have a lot of options as well. Some of you met this person online, but I just feel like it's just going to be very, it's, it's not going to be anything different from what it has already been awareness, okay? So like I said, expect this freak to definitely come towards my aquas here. But whoever this person is, you know, they, they, they're still on the same crap. So don't fall for it. Don't fall for their little romance and stuff. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. Not ready for a relationship. I want you back in my life, but I'm worried you won't trust me. What does this person want to tell Aquarius? So they will ask you out on a date. They're going to wine and dine you. I was so blind, Aquarius. Never leaving you again, Aquarius. Everyone just gets me annoyed. All I want to do is be with you. And, you know, you guys may very well have all this chemistry and stuff. But you could you could do whatever you want to do. But are you going to commit, right? Super obsessed with you. I fucked up. Trying to find the right words to say. You have deep feelings for you. I didn't want to face my feelings. It was just easier to pretend they didn't exist. Some of you I'm also hearing maybe this freak, you know, is married or they're involved, okay? And if that's the case, I don't want them, but you could not want whatever you want. But have you made the changes? I have the biggest crush on you. My heart and soul belongs to you. Aquarius. Low self-esteem. Aquarius. Refuse to see you with someone else. Mm. I can't move on. So for some of you, I feel like this is someone who... I thought I was doing the right thing by pushing your love away, but I crave it so bad. This is this person is very back and forth. Some of you, they just don't want you to move on. They don't see, so they're kind of trying to buy some time with you by, you know, doing all this, like ghosting you and stuff to keep you hoping, keep keep you waiting. Uh, it's just a lot of game playing, okay? And like I said, someone wants to be more than friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Aquarius. So let's get some uh, guidance for Aquarius, please. Guidance for Aquarius. Guidance for Aquarius. Okay. So you have spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. You have keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. And then you also have, you are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants, guys. For those of you with children or, you know, if you lost, you had, you know, miscarriage, you lost a child. It's saying that your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. Beautiful. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind and spiritual growth right now. Okay. All right, so that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please remember to like it and stop dealing with this Houdini, okay? Love you guys. Talk to you guys next time.